Hey everybody, this is Chad. What we're looking at there, that pink blob on the back of the tank, is a clutch of clownfish eggs. Uh, mama clownfish and her husband are proud parents. This is the fifth clutch that this pair has laid and they've been doing it continuously. The eggs grow and hatch and then they'll lay them again. Clownfish will prepare a surface for the eggs, in this case by scraping off algae and the glass pretty much takes care of itself. Then they'll lay them on the flat surface where they stick and there are hundreds of eggs in this clutch. The uh, female will guard them to make sure that no one comes around and the male will tend them and what he will do is keep debris and algae away from them and he will oxygenate them by flapping his fins around them and pressing his body against them. So it's very interesting that there is some uh, maternal care and paternal care with uh, clownfish eggs. Now obviously they are both agitated. You can see just by my having the camera this close I'm going to try and stick it in the tank in, in just a few minutes to see if we can get a closer look at the eggs so that you can see. There's the male doing his behavior. So whenever the clownfish I have lay eggs, and, and this has happened frequently with my Ocellaris in the past, I always hear similar remarks. People will excitedly proclaim that I'm going to have uh, hundreds of baby clownfish and they want to know what I'm going to do with them all. And I have to explain to them that that isn't the case. Clownfish eggs will hatch in my tank, and the larvae will come out, but they're not going to grow into juvenile clownfish. And the reason for that is varied. And rather than just do one video explaining that, I decided to ask a, an expert so the next series of videos is going to be a visit to Bob Bittner at his clownfish breeding operation, Reef Stew and More. And Bob is going to take us through the entire process uh, from water purification through the creation of the Reef Stew, which he uses to feed the fish, and even how he packs them up uh, to deliver uh, to, the, to the buyer. So it's a very fascinating operation. The last time we saw Bob, he drilled a tank for us, and the time before that, we saw his uh, fish room. Now at the time, uh, even though it was an ongoing breeding operation, it was much smaller than what you're going to see. He's done a complete renovation, a complete add-on um, to it. it. It's just amazing what he's done, how, how much larger it is than it was. So let's take a quick dip down into the pool here and see if I can get a, a better macro shot. If not, I'll make sure to get a close-up shot of the eggs at Bob's place um, so that you can see. Uh, we definitely uh, will see clownfish eggs at Reef Stew and more. So thank you very much for watching and, and hang on for the next several videos because they, they're all going to be about, about breeding and it's exciting. I'm looking forward to it. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.